Hello everyone. No unnecessary words. I believe this video will impress you. Watch until the end. Let's get started. In avocados, there are three stages of ripeness – unripe, ripe and overripe, which means it's turning black. While it's easy to avoid selecting an unripe avocado due to its firmness, avoiding a black one is even more crucial. I'll teach you how to do it. Take a soft avocado and pull off its stem. Look inside. If there's no black, it means the entire avocado is good. But if there's black inside, there's a high likelihood that inside of avocado will be black. Now that you're equipped with these insights, selecting the perfect avocado will be a breeze. Now I'll show you how to choose a ripe, sweet and tasty pineapple. A good pineapple shouldn't have mold on the stem. Leaves from a ripe pineapple are easily pulled out. A good pineapple should be yellow-green in color. Brown ones are overripe, green ones are still unripe. A tasty pineapple, when pressed on its eye, is soft but returns to its shape. And finally, a ripe pineapple has a pleasant sweet fruity aroma. A green one doesn't have any scent at all. Did you like the segment on how to choose fruits and vegetables? If so, let us know in the comments and we'll definitely share more helpful tips in our upcoming videos. Need to quickly peel a roasted eggplant? This life hack is for you! Wrap it in plastic wrap, cut off the tip and simply squeeze out the flesh with your hands. Look at that! Only the skin is left. Do you often find that your cutting board slips around on the table? Here's a brilliant solution. Stretch rubber bands over each end of the board. Now it will stay firmly in place even when you're cutting something tough like corn. By the way, you can make a tasty snack for the party from this corn. Cut it into quarters and deep fry it. Now mix with your favorite seasonings. I use salt, dried garlic and paprika. Voila! The snack is ready! Now I'll show you a super easy way to peel almonds. Pour the nuts into a bowl and cover them with boiling water and let them sit for 5 to 7 minutes. See how easily they peel. Just press on the skin and the almond pops out. Although a can's lid is designed for ease of opening, it can often be a pain to deal with. I'll show you how to open it effortlessly. Just insert a spoon into the tap, slide it to the end and use it as a lever. It's super easy.
Did you know that you can cook eggs in the oven instead of water? I just take an egg tray and place it in the oven for half an hour. Then I cool them in cold water to make peeling easier. The eggs turn out perfect this way. Do you love dumplings? I sure do! That's why I've decided to show you three fantastic ways to beautifully shape them. Now I'll demonstrate how to use a simple lid to create an amazing party snack. Place a large sized onion in it and make several cuts across its diameter with a knife. The lid will serve as a safeguard preventing you from completely slicing through the onion. Soak the sliced onion in water for 30 minutes. Then dip it in egg and flour and fry it in deep oil until it forms a crispy crust for about 7 minutes. Your blooming onion is ready. If you don't have a garlic press on hand, you can always use a sieve. Look how quickly and neatly it minces the garlic. If you have products stored in plastic bags that you don't use often, it's crucial to store them correctly. Simply closing them with clips doesn't work, since air and moisture still gets in, causing them to go stale quickly. For long-term storage, it's essential to seal the bag tightly. For this, you'll need an iron and some toilet paper. First, lay the paper on the table. Place the edge of the bag on it and wrap it in the paper. Now glide a hot iron over it. And there you have it, the bag is securely sealed. Using the grid of an egg slicer, you can easily slice a cucumber into spirals and then use it to decorate dishes.
dealing with an unpleasant smell from your refrigerator, I have a solution. Take half a lemon and stick cloves into it. Now place a container with baking soda and this lemon half in the fridge. The soda will absorb the odors, while the lemon and cloves will give off a pleasant scent. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.